Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Well, I have something weird for you. Anyway, so, last time I was streaming, uh, my stream crashed. So, I had to reset the stream, I had to reset the game. But, while I was doing that, I also went to go, you know, like, do some other stuff while I was doing that. So, my, I accidentally muted my headset. And I didn't know until I ended the stream. So, I have this footage, which is completely silent. And <laughs> it's a mess. So, I hope you still enjoy this anyway. And, uh, you know, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you want to maybe subscribe i'll be posting more tome content and it's only this one and it's only th the reason why this one's so long is because it's literally just the area i just posted just the second day of the area plus this uh plus this fight because well i have no colorful commentary to add to it because i was muted the entire time mm, lovely anyway hope you enjoy it Sorry for the long intro, and, uh, yeah, enjoy. Ha! Let them run! Another victory for... The, the twin, twin blades, blades of, of night and day! day. <laughs> what have we here? Familiar faces abound. Ah, oh, Maiden and Sun Long! It has been far too long, if thou asks this night. Always a pleasure to cross paths with a fellow dragon in arms, Sir Nylock. I'd almost forgotten your unmistakable sense of humor. Greetings to you as well, Lady Flame Girl. Ah, pardon me. Guildmaster Flame Girl, the Dandy Alliance. It too has been quite some time since we last met. Ah, er, yes. Good to see you both. I, uh, trust you've been dealing with similar opponents with great capabilities in rhyming? I'm afraid so. We have both been working tirelessly to prevent these troublesome villains from causing destruction across the land. But we are, admittedly, short-handed. Sir Nylock, I'm sure you are well aware of the sinister intentions of this Bincho character, who has risen to power above the benevolent Net King Exec. Yes, of course. But fear not, fellow heroes. I... Nylock, Master of Assembling Admirable Allies! I'm in great company. Guildmaster Flame Girl has brought together a strong collection of warriors with which to conquer the campaign of champions. We shall see to it that President Exec is safely returned to power from the unsightly usurper. Speaking of which, standing beside us is one of the knight's newest squires and a member of the Dandy Alliance. Squire Hat, please introduce thyself. Greetings, warriors. You certainly showed those scoundrels what for. Good morrow to you, Squire Hat. We too were once squires to Sir Nylog, but now we are full-fledged heroes fighting for justice. Oh, hush now. Thou giveth this knight far too much credit. Every squire taken under mine cape finds their path by their own merit. Both of ye should be proud of thyselves. We saw your friend Galantaz run through here, and I wanted to see if something was up. Strange. My eye did not catch the great Galantaz galloping through. Perhaps he was returning from battle against another evildoer? While our paths have crossed, might we have a duel just for sport? I'm eager to test our new techniques against the likes of a strong guild such as yours. Oh, joyous day! May we please, Guildmaster? Well, one quick match won't hurt. Stupendous! Let us battle with honor! Wielder of the Moon Lance, Maiden! Wielder of the Sun Sword, Sun Long! Together, Together we, we are, are the, the Twin, twin blades, blades of Night and Day!
monster of endlessly efficient encouragement! Fight till the end! This knight believes in thee! From dusk till dawn, bright shine!
Aha! The light of the sun and moon cannot melt the icy blade of eye. Nylock, dragon of the cold steel! So, our winning streak has come to a halt. Perhaps the twin blades need more training. It was a fine match, Sir Nylock. Would you be so kind as to revive us? Certainly. I can tell from our clash that the Dandy Alliance is a righteous and powerful guild indeed. The name, it strikes a chord of nostalgia. I'm sure it would be quite flattering to our former ally, Lady Dandelion. N uh Yeah, it was named in tribute to her. How is Lady Dandelion? It has been quite some time since we fought alongside her. She's fighting the good fight in another world. She sends her regards to you all. Please do send our goodwill back. You are a fine guildmaster in your own right. <laughs> Galantez appears. This knight's eyes did not deceive. But what could this mean? <coughs> oh. Is this a warning? An omen, perhaps? Yes. I fear there are more evil forces at work beyond even just Binjo's manipulation of the city. We must go. It was an honor to cross swords with you yet again, Sir Nylock. Good, Good luck, luck to you all, all Dandy Alliance. Alliance. Guildmaster, I... I apologize profusely for this day. It's okay. It was an innocent question on their part. I know they have no idea. I think it really would cheer her up to know the rest of the guild still misses her. Sister? Yeah, that's the Lady Dandelion those two were referring to. Back before, well, everything happened. She used to be a part of Nylock's guild. That's how he and I met, and how we eventually formed the Alliance, when it was just the two of us starting out. Lady Dandelion was a fine member of the Tales of the Terrain, a charismatic performer, and a trusted friend of this knight. Though we have had no direct communication in some time, our guildmaster has been kind enough to relay my messages of hope and determination. It's the least I can do for all the help you've given me. And speaking of which, I was thinking... Eh? About what you said earlier, when I was asking for advice. I want to be able to rally the Alliance numbers in times where we gotta really get it together and give it our all. And I realized, the people I want to inspire are the people who inspire me. But of course! And there is one last piece of wisdom this knight can bestow. When it comes to motivational speeches, even just the slightest touch of cheesiness is required to be effective. If we... no. When we make enough Bincho Bucks to compete in this event, I'll know just what to say. Thank you, guys. We still got a lot of ground to cover, so let's get back to work. But of course, with the Mysterious Musician's Challenge conquered, we must continue. The search for more money! Wilt thou be joining us on our next quest, Squire Hat? I shall continue the search elsewhere, Sir Nylock. Understood. Good tidings on thy next adventure. Come, Guildmaster. We ride! Whoosh! Talk soon. Steph, Curb, I want you two to have this Orb of Unity. What do you say? Could you stand sharing a technique with me? Yeah, yeah. Don't act like I'm gonna make another fight out of it. But we got fire and electricity on our hands, so this better be out frickin' standing. All right, well, in that case, let's just flat out put them together. Fire and electricity. Maybe something like plasma? That's gotta be pretty out friggin' standing. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. Big ol' burst of plasma on a single target ought to make for a nice finishing strike.
Can't wait to try this one out. <laughs> thanks for being a good sport. Ah, it's nothing. Thanks for the good idea. Let's put it to deadly use. Curb, Softy, I want you two to have this orb of unity. Oh, well, thanks. Hey, uh, I had an idea after seeing those syringe attacks of yours. How about a healing technique? You sure? I thought you could already revive people, though. I can, but we could both stand to get a new recovery technique. It'll be like a little medical procedure. You'd be some messed up practitioners. But it's not like there aren't a few illegitimate doctors in video games anyhow. Let's do it. Don't worry, guys. Whether you lose a couple HP or you're on the brink of death, Dr. Softy and Nurse Curb will fix you right up. Is this called Miracle Cure because it's a miracle we can cure anyone with our complete lack of medical experience? I mean, when you put it like that... Yes. Very yes. Yo. Hey, so what's the game plan? Game plan? <sighs> We're just gonna hang out with Softy. We don't need a strategy for that. Or do we? You might. Wow, thanks! Seriously, I'm glad you came, though. Figured this was the least I could do after that whole fiasco. Gotta show I'm a team player and that I'm willing to make new friends. Still, hope I don't screw this up. Hello. Hey, you made it. How's it going? Not bad. A little tired. Same here. I barely slept this week, but, uh, you know, it's our duty and all. So, what's the mission? Right, so that little racing minigame stuff was talking about? There's a racetrack at the end of the sector that should be where it is. And if we can band together and conquer it, we'll be rolling in fat stacks of BB in no time. Okay, should we get going then? Yes, we should. Let's going. Let's... going? You heard me.
you bullish here on your way to the racetrack, I'm trying to position for the game makers to let us do a race ourselves, like on foot. If we beat you, we get a few signatures. Oh, sure. I would love to roll you up into a ball and punch it down the asphalt. Aw, that went south really quick. Man, we're falling apart at the seams. Ah, I recognize you chaps. Entrance into the campaign, aren't you? We are, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. We got Bincho Bucks to scrounge up so we can have a shot at the next one. Really? Well, time to clean shop.
people out there that need help. We're gonna win the campaign of champions and get that prize money. That's very noble of you, but sad to say. We're the ones who are gonna take the win. But don't worry, we got people who need helping too. Just one loss. We'll do better next time. I'm gonna go see the races today. The vehicles are so big and powerful. I wonder if they've got sentience like us. I hope they don't mind the visitors riding them around so much. I heard there was a mysterious racer that comes to visit the track once in a while. He rides this super cool motorcycle. He must be the fastest guy in all the city on that thing.
The ferry system that President Exec built is just so convenient. Allows for folks like me to keep away from the hustle and bustle of downtown Goldhatton. The seaside is much more my style, and there's absolutely no fear of falling in and being electrocuted. So, how'd you guys meet? A couple weeks ago during the first regional event, me and Nylock ran into her by chance. <laughs> I remember. That was an interesting day. Those troublemaker kids really gave us a run. Oh lord. So you met them before that day we all made up? That's too, too many times. Sorry you had to suffer that. <laughs> it's alright. Huh. Was that with Nylock, Hattie? I don't even remember you guys mentioning that. It wasn't a big deal, really. We handled it. Fair enough. What about you guys? I know Stephanie and Nylock have known each other for a long time before they formed the guild, but... Oh, yeah. We met at one of the battle arenas and had a pretty evenly matched one-on-one, -on -one, where I remember being particularly hilarious and probably made a memorable enough impression on our esteemed guildmaster. Once in a while, I'd play against her and some of her friends from the last guild she was part of, and she and I kept in touch. Then, when she decided to start her own for the campaign, she hit me up, and I came on board. Then, around the same time, I picked up a copy of Tome for Alpha. Alpha and I both joined the same day, not long before we ran into you. Wow. Seems like we all got together through a lot of coincidences, huh? Perhaps it was fate 
that banded us together. I mean, this really has felt like a fate thing to me, but maybe it's because I've been going through so much weirdness lately. Just having people to talk to every day that I can depend on has been a serious relief. I was entering by myself on kind of a whim at first, but it's thanks to the Campaign of Champions that I met you guys. That's good. Honestly, with life as crazy as it is for everybody right now, I'm glad the game's been a nice distraction, at least. And like I said, happy to have an extra hand. Especially for this event. I can't imagine how much of a pain this would be if it were still just me, Steph, and I. We should get back to it, then. Are we close to the racetrack place? Only one way to find out. To just keep on moving ahead. I get it. I'm glad. of passion saddle down I'll put you all out quick enough strong, but my one wish is to get even stronger than I am now. Well, you're doing great so far, but it's not over yet. I got a lot to learn.
Hey, buddy. I'm heading back to the start of the sector. Need a lift? Heck no. Forget about it. Pardon us, but we got a race to catch. Is that right? We just had our first racing battle on the track, so we're taking a quick break. If you come across a slick-looking ride called the Argentum Apparition, that was designed by my buddy here, and named by yours truly. Ooh, are we gonna get to create our own car? Welcome to the Silver Isle Racetrack. Here you can watch, bet, and compete in Telluria City's exciting new racing battles. And here we are. So Stephanie said this racing game can earn us a lot of the money we'll need, but are there any specifics on what we need to do? This minigame is relatively new and it was introduced specifically for the campaign. A few other levels have them scattered around. Patty and I had to deal with one on a mission we did with Nylock a little while ago. Now, supposedly, if we do really well in a match, we'll get challenged by a particular NPC to a special race. If we can beat the NPC in question, we'll earn ourselves a pretty nice chunk of Bincho bucks. Okay, let's give it a shot. Welcome to the Silver Isle Vehicle Shop and Registration Booth. If you're interested in competing in our ongoing racing battles, here you can purchase, build, and register your vehicle. Yes, we're interested. The registration fee is 100 Bincho Bucks. Oof. Is it okay for us to spend that much? Steph said it was alright. Gotta spend BB to make BB. Excellent. Please enter to access the Vehicle Construction Shop. Maybe it's just because it's not frickin' minecarts anymore, but I am so down for this minigame now. Alright, I say we go for something big and bulky that we can ram the other racers right off the track with. Ooh, can I have dibs on the color? Purple! Oh yeah, color of royalty. Give me some giant wheels, yeah, there we go. Plenty of room for us all to sit. Gotta have some weapons on there too. Post-apocalyptic road-raging wasteland style. Bam! It's so beautiful. Sweet. Oh, look at her. She's gorgeous. Looking slick. All right, Hattie. Do the honors. Christen our baby with a name. The F1 Hour. What's that stand for? The Formula One Organic Water Engine Race Car. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, have you been cooking that name up since we got here? Clever as hell. That settles it then. Ah, uh, man, brings a tear to my eye. You really love cars, huh? Look, my dad works at a dealership. I grew up surrounded by them. I can communicate with them. You're like Curb, the car whisperer. Who doesn't actually own a car? Oh my god, what? That's the worst! I literally couldn't live without mine. Um, <clears throat> never mind. But it's okay. We have our sweet child now. We'll take care of her together. All of us. All three parents. <laughs> parents. Um, I don't know. Is she responsible enough to own a car? Not unless she gets a job and works her tailpipe off. Now let's get her registered and out on that track. Would you like to register this vehicle for the Silver Isle Racing Battles? Yeah, buddy. I'll grant you guys access to it too, in case you want to come back another day. Excellent. Thank you for your contribution. Before entering your first race, please make sure to successfully finish your driving test. Oh, good. First you guys give me horrible minecart level flashbacks, now you curse me with driver's ed flashbacks. Why? It's real considerate of them to think of your safety, though, even if it's just imaginary. Plus, if you guys have done this before, it's better if I learn the basics so I don't go in blind. Yeah, good point. Let's get it over with. You cramming for your driver's ed exam at the last second? <laughs> You're always so careless. Fine, I guess you can read over my study guide. Sure would be nice if somebody could give me Welcome to the Racing Battle Drivers Education Course. Do you have a registered vehicle for Silva Isles Racetrack? Yep, yep. Teach us your ways, oh master. Our education course will require you to perform a mock racing battle against our automated automobile. Use this time to practice each of the necessary driving maneuvers to exemplify that you can be trusted to follow the rules of the road. Good luck! Ready? Three, two, one! Congratulations! You have passed the driver's education course. Your registered vehicle is now allowed for usage in competition on Silva Isles Racetrack. Good luck and drive fast safely! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the tip. All right, let's go, go, go!
Greetings. Are you interested in competing in the Silva Isle racing battles? If you have registered, you may race against others in a match between two competing vehicles. We've been through hell and back to get here for the last time. Yes, we are interested. He's an NPC. He can't hear you screaming. He's also a robot, so also he probably can't feel your anger either. Well, it makes me feel better, okay? Excellent. Does your team consist of three racers? Yes. The entrance fee is 100 bincho bucks. Please enter the waiting area for the next available match. Finally! Ah, okay. That only took a year. How you guys feeling? I'm okay. It's funny. After I got over the nervousness of the regional event the other day, I feel like I've already kind of gotten used to the, well, general level of stress that comes with us. I hear you. After a while, you get used to it. It's okay to be a little afraid, but we can't accomplish nothing if we don't keep a level head. Or at least pretend to have one. Compared to the stress of the regional events, though, this is nothing. What are you guys talking about? We're gonna win. Yeah, Hattie's right. I bet that NPC with the big bucks will show up just as quick as we win the races against these other chumps. Oh, hey! Long time no see, old friend. Oh, uh, can we not do this? Yeah, I'm gonna echo that sentiment. The formalities are fruitless here. Oh, great. It's the buzzard who swindled Alpha. Don't tell me we're stuck playing with you. Glad to know I'm in the presence of the drama king and queen and their court jester. I'm royalty. <laughs> we don't have to deal with them if you guys don't want to. Do you want to exit out and look for another match? No, no, I think this is a sign. You two cast members down to give us a good show? Oh, you must have been holding on to that one for days. As a matter of fact, I came up with it just now. Well, I say we take them up on their offer. Any excuse to run these chumps off the road and earn bincho bucks? Hey, chump is my word, bird. <clears throat> so, uh, should we have a nice, friendly race then, guys? Why not? Anything to get you all to collectively shut up. Perfect. Happy to make you into some roadkill. Let's get out there. Let's show them the true power of the almighty F1 hour! Start your engines! Ready? Three, two, one, go! Gear shift! Trap! you like the taste of my dust? I'm choking on it. <coughs> oh no, you're all making me sick. Time for us to go. We've got better things to do. Oh, did you guys leave a bun in the oven? <sighs> Bye. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I definitely liked that better than the minecart thing. Aw, oh, I liked the minecart ride too. Well, you're objectively wrong, but you're my friend all the same. Now, uh, let's see here. Keep an eye out for anyone mysterious and potentially rich looking. 
<laughs> Fancy yourself some pretty good races, do you? I saw you out there. You're all right. Why don't you take me on? Head to head. No other races to get in our way. I want to see what you guys are really made of. Ooh. Well, that's our ticket. Let's go show them what for. Not bad. Seems like you got a pretty good handle on this. You aiming for the campaign of champions? Well, you best get even better on the track. You never know what skills may be required in the future. Watch your back out there. say we were ahead of the curve on this one, but it looks like the... Please, please don't. Curb was ahead of him! <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess we're done with that. Well, I had a lot of fun today. Same. This was a great idea, Curb. <sighs> If you guys had a good time, mission accomplished. Can I be honest with you? What did I do? Since I've started playing Tome, I've had a lot of people approach me, acting like they want to help me or be my friend or other stuff. Nine times out of ten, they turn out to be lying, or they change their minds, and they're not very nice about it. Stephanie's been a real lifesaver. She was the first person who I knew right away was actually trying to help, and actually wanted to be my friend. But also... The fact that you invited me out on a mission, personally, shows that all of you guys cared enough to put the time in to get to know me, even just a little. So to answer your question, what you did was something really nice. Hey, well, it's no big deal. You're a part of the team now, and, and it's the least we could do. So, we got our prize, and I think I've had my fill of cars for today. How about you? Hell no! I want to come back and do this again. It'll be like Silver Runners 2, The Revenge. This summer, Kerbifer returns from the open road, and this time, he's ready to kick asphalt. Rated R for Really Silly, in theaters Friday. R? That's lewd, dude. I, no, I'd never go full R. I'm classier than that. Sure. All right, I'm head off for the night. As my dad would say, I gotta go take care of the three S's. What are the three S's? Shower, shave, and sh sh sleep. Yeah. Uh. Gross. Sorry, not sorry. Good night! Bye. I think he's feeling a lot better now. Thanks for that. I could tell he was nervous the whole time. <laughs> it's okay. I feel pretty good about today. 
It's only been a few weeks since I left, but it feels like it's been forever. Maybe just because I've been cherishing the days I've spent with the gang pretty closely so far. I appreciate both of you guys inviting me out today. Have you talked to your little brother yet? I... no. Not yet. I want to, but I've still been a little too scared to say anything. One day at a time, but definitely make sure you follow through. Thanks. I will. I'm gonna head off too. Have a good night. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button!